what up G's it's your boy Prophet74 today we're gonna continue with the built uh, PC under 500 bucks uh, get it up and running and we're almost done here we're in the last part of it um, I'm gonna put some crazy glue some other stuff I could do I'm gonna try to get everything going um, but first of all we got to make sure we got this down to the science before we start gluing shit apart because as soon as we start gluing it there's no way of turning back on all these things and we got to make sure I have everything in hand too so I, I I got the scoop on everything I need and pretty much I got everything I need here in hand of course other than the glue I was looking for I think this is the multi-purpose glue gel I think this is it wood ceramic plastic leather paper no this is not the one it's another crazy glue I have in here somewhere in here but enough of that let's go with the build so right now we left off with i i made i glued this together already see if you guys see it it's in there uh i'm gonna see if i can stabilize this some more put some more crazy glue more um hot glue it here make sure it's like a permanent build but it, it's it doesn't care i don't care about the front because the the the, the computer is going to push it to the front so which is not bad you know it's one of those things that i, I really don't mind and uh, I gotta make sure the audio's on, guys. Yeah, it's on. It's on. It turns off once in a while. So, if you guys don't hear me or something, um, I'll try to get back to you on that. But so far, I got the whole thing set up in here. A little sticky here, here, and there, but we got it going. And I'm trying to get some. Bob Jenkins joined. Hey, Walt Jenkins. Welcome to the club, man. How you doing, man, Walt Jenkins? Hey, just to let you guys go, Wall Jenkins. Uh, my primary channel is um, YouTube. It's called Late to the Show. Um, I do stream in a lot of different channels. I'm gonna let you guys know where what channels to stream from. But my primary is YouTube. I have a lot of tutorials and stuff like that on YouTube. Um, if you ever want to join me there, and I'm gonna keep posting it up. I'm gonna put the link in here. If you don't mind subscribing to the YouTube channel too and let me know. It's under 500 bucks this machine. It's it's it it's a great machine, but other than the retro system I'm going to use it for, that's pretty much what I'm going to use it. So, on the last time, I put these pins. I had to, I had to actually trim them down because these original I'm going to glue these and it, it's going to stabilize this thing. It's going to keep it up higher so the I could always have access to this. And these are pretty good. You could just kind of cut them out and replace them. Real simple. And what I end up doing, let me show you what I got them from, actually. I got a box full of them. And um, I was able to get them from the box and put them together. Now, I tested the, I did test the, I did test these out. But today we're going to solder them together. We're going to make sure it's a permanent fit, right? What you want, girl? I'm on, I'm streaming right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm, no, he's good. He's good. He's good. My daughter. He's just asking me. What's up, man? Welcome to the show, guys. If you guys just first time here, make sure you guys subscribe and watch me. Um, we're going to try to see if we can put this sucker together. Permanent. So. And we're going to go ahead and start with this thing. So this is pretty much the base. It's the black. I cut it. I cut it out. You guys see that? I cut it out. It's perfectly fitting now. Now, one thing I did mention in the last video that um, I figured this thing out. It only needs one to run. It doesn't need all four of them. And so far, it's running. It's running really good. So we got it plugged in. We got ready to go. And this thing, I plugged it in because I didn't want to burn, run it from the motherboard and burn any kind of uh, fuse, anything coming out of the... So I plugged this sucker in so I could power the fans. And we're going to plug it. We're going to paste the fans in here too. But first of all, we're going to test the fans out where it's blowing out. Because I'm not sure if the system's blowing out one way or the other. But we'll find out right now. And make sure that we get it up and running. Let me get this going here. Make sure I have enough glue here. So this thing won't fall.
That's enough glue. So when I, this thing goes in here, it's gonna go in here in this particular place. Um, there's gonna be a stomp right there. I'm gonna put a stomp in there. So this thing go fit perfectly fine with the motherboard. You see, there it is. So the motherboard is gonna be permanently pasted on the bottom of these tokens here, uh, these uh, tacks actually. So let me move this before I lose this one. Let's move that one before I lose this one too. And this is the thing that I was gonna talk about. I'm gonna move that one out. This is gonna be for. I was gonna have the power here, but actually I'm gonna have the hard drive in here. So I might I might stabilize the actual power. Let's find out where this is gonna connect. Let's get let's go ahead and get a, a couple of things going too. Let me get let me get something out so I can start soldering, guys. we need here I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the power here Just solder this thing here sorry guys we're gonna I'm gonna make some room here for this sucker there's one sucker here it's a huge mother effort plug that one in power supply in there I'm going to charge it up is this part right here I'm going to charge it up in a bit we'll turn it on in a bit too here's the glue I was looking for I'm going to permanent set two things set in perf in, in alignment right now power supply we got the removal I think we're ready to go. We're pretty much set. We got all the things we need in front of us here for today's uh, build. Today's finishing build, actually. One more thing missing. Let me get it. One last thing. thing I do I'm sorry about the voice guys I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get the plate I'll go We're gonna heat it up to probably 300 degrees. To let me make sure I remove the plastic too. It's plugged in. Plastics remove. Put that in here. Plug it in. Heat it up. That's on sideways. Plug it in. 
twist it in. Gotta twist it. So it won't fall off. Then we gotta turn it on. We turn it on. It's at 380. Um, we have to go down. Maybe to 250, I would say. It's too high. Um, it's too tolerant. 300, 260 is fine. I want it too hot. All right. There you go. 255. Put on 255. It's going to start heating up. We're going to bring in the solutions to, to this thing. You guys don't have to do this. Uh, it, this is an overkill, but I like to have things stable in my, my systems the way they are. So I like to make sure they, they last a long time. That's what I do. So I don't like half ass jobs sometimes. You know, it just, it's not me when I'm creating stuff. Okay, here is one. So there's one right there. And we don't need this right now. We do need water in here, so. Got my Jane Jenny juice. A little bit of sponge. Starts loading up like that. It means it's not dry. And one for me. Just to get it started. Just to get it going. Whew, okay. We're gonna test it out. Still not hot yet. It's heating up. Okay. We got it running. So I like to use a mask on these most of the times. But today I don't have it. Oh, here it is. Why not be safe? You know, it's one of those things that I tend to use because I don't like to smell the. Well, we're cutting here. It's copper. It's it's copper. It's that's what you're doing most of the time. So it's an overkill, but it does the job. To be honest with you, this is the hardest part: the tape. Getting the tape out. There we go. I got so much mess in here. All right, here's the beginning. Tape. All right, let's do this. Permanent soldering this system, all right? Put this on the side. Twist it, hold on. Twist it, twist it, twist it. Not the best soldering job, but it's it will do. Now what I'm doing is I'm permanently putting it in there so it could be one as one, and I'm trying to keep it permanent, so I don't have to redo this in the future. Well, something just crashed. Nothing just crashed. There we go. Damn, permanent. So, we're going to clean it up on the sponge. Right. Get some of the stuff out. Perfect, see? Put it back in there. You don't have to worry about that one. 
but we are going to tape it up and we're going to melt the tape too. So let's go ahead and um, shoot. Did I bring my scissors out here? Yeah, I did. Let's use this for now. I'm going to come back later and melt it more, but right now uh, I'm just going to keep it there permanent, just cut this off. And then we'll melt this part too. That's one for now. There's a secondary. Let's see how come it's not going through. go all right make sure we get that going get some solder going in there True on ugly dog. The dog's here. Not now, Jax. Not a critical time right now. Not the best soldering job, but it will do. It will do. You don't really have to do this, to be honest with you. I'm doing an overkill, to be honest with you. It's just an overkill. Now, a band-aid. For now, temporary band-aid. Until I heat up the heating gun, but I, I might not just do that. I'm just going to leave it like it is, but I want it to keep it permanent so it won't untangle because it's so fine and thin that this thing would have fallen off a couple of times, you know? So, let me see if I can put this bent this down to one direction. There you go. little band-aid for now and BAM and then we melt it with the heat gun in here a little bit we're in business so let me turn this off now I love to use this all the time you know it comes in handy when you're working with it it's good to know these things good to figure these things out ahead of time because sometimes you don't know what you're doing and it's best if we just you know practice who cares if you mess up Keep practicing. That's the whole idea. You practice. Put this on the side for now. Let's go with the next part of it. I'm going to move this. Let it cool off for now. Because it's a little hot. Look at this. It's still hot. So it's going through the plastic. It's still hot. Just to let you know, this is how you can make screw holes. Look at that. Still hot. All right, let it cool off, and we're in business for now. Put this on the side. 
this I don't want to lose this part so I want to make sure that it is stable here put it together put this on that side put this on here and let's get the other part and let me show you what I'm talking about when I I cut the tacks it's from the bottom so there's these little tacks in here you see that how to cut them shave them and this is gonna be the base so let's test this out let's make sure that these are running like yesterday we tested them out I don't want to start putting shit in there that might not work let's go ahead and test it out right now where is the testing unit here it is power supply let's unplug that one get the USB going and oh here it is remember it's not going to run at this speed it's going to run faster okay this is just 5 watts or 5 voltage right oh shit I forgot about that one and we're not going to plug into the motherboard we don't want to short circuit the motherboard and they're all running other fans are running now you got to figure out where it's blowing in and out so out is this so this is blowing in so the winds going in this way we're gonna mark that I can't tell <laughs> for it, honestly. It's hard. Sometimes they have arrows. In this case, okay, okay. Wind is here, wind is here. Yeah, wind is out here on the label. So wind is on the label, which is good. Let's see if we can mark that sucker up with something. But there is nothing to mark it with. Oh! Yeah, there is. So, we'll put a little mark that way. This way. This way. So we can know. I know it sounds, it looks stupid, but you know, to be honest with you, it, it saves me a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and disconnect this part. And we know it's working so once we have that going let's start gluing them in the motherboard and I do want an air ventilation in here so we are gonna put a little mesh in here I do want to put a mesh and um, you know what let me go get the mesh it's right here I got the mesh somewhere on here hold on guys Hi, Fox. At Gear Grinder 247 is now following. Hey, brother. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you for following us on how late to the show. I appreciate, guys. Um, just to let you guys know, I have a channel, primary on YouTube, and um, if you don't mind, you know, checking it out. And also, I have lots of videos there that you could go back how to how tos and how to fix them, and lots of gaming, lots of gaming. I'm putting the link in up there, brother. If you could help me on, on on YouTube too, also give me that like and subscribe if you don't mind. And um, we're gonna put this mesh here and see how the mesh is going. We're gonna cut it and we're gonna glue it in, so we could have ventilation in here. So I had this mesh; it was a leftover I had from another system, and we're gonna go ahead and cut it. I wish I had scissors here, but I left them in the house, so we're not gonna chase the scissors. We're just gonna cut it manually. So I do have a little pliers in here. The they're not the best, but to, to be honest with you, they're working. Let me see if I have scissors. Uh, I had scissors here. We can cut them right now. Oh, I got a blade. Even better. So I'm gonna cut it to the hole. That's where we're gonna cut it to. And thank you, brother, man, for subscribing, man. I appreciate that, brother. Let me see. So we're going to cut it through the hole right now. 
We're going to cut the mesh, and I need to get a piece of cardboard. So I'm going to use this one in here. Put this on the side. Cut it through the hole here. And we should be good. So let's get this going. Let's get this popping. There we go. Got the mesh, the first mesh. We'll measure the other one in a bit. And we're going to start putting this sucker in here and glue it, hot glue. Hot glue. Keep it permanent hot glue. This is um so so we don't have uh, any any dust particles coming in here, you know. Keep them on the outside. Which is not bad, you know. Uh I don't I recommend everybody doing that because in reality if you're gonna have an opening, you're gonna have a lot of dust. And it's it's as it is, it's hard. It might damage your, your expensive motherboard. Uh, you know, so that's why I highly recommend you guys getting something like this. And you know what? Let me take the motherboard out for now. So I got the motherboard here. I'm going to put it here on the side. I hope it doesn't fall. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put this. And I'm using a PlayStation, old PlayStation 3, just to make this computer. Because I didn't want to buy a motherboard tower to be a tower. I didn't want to buy a tower, to be honest with you. And then nothing hurts by putting all this hot glue in here, you know? It'll melt away eventually in time. So we we got it popping. Got it going here. Then we're going to measure this part too. Because we are going to put a little screen right there. And it's enough right here. Let me see. Let me bring that piece of screen I have in here. And in fact, you know what? We could just do it right now. And cut it so I'll cut it right in the right here. Let me get the the blade here. You just mark it, slash it, and we'll cut it here just to make sure it cuts perfect so we could cover the whole thing and have a perfect mesh. There we go. I see it now. I had a cardboard up here so I could cut things. You know what? I don't have one. I'll just cut it on the table. There's one in. Jax! Come here, Jax! Stay here. My dog's gigs crazy. Stop it. Or are you going to go inside the house? You can't be barking at people. I know. I know. Dog is all crazy, man. But he's my watchdog. He got my back. All right. So we got that part going. Now we're going to cover it up here with a little mesh. You see that? It's perfectly fine. It's okay if it picks up a little bit on the ground, but it's going to keep it together. And like I said... You know, it doesn't don't mind if I put a little bit more glue than I anticipated, but you can always remove it, so it's not gonna hurt anybody. I'm not the best guy putting all this glue in here, but it does the job, man. It does the job. Come on. Get it together. Come on. No, no, no. Put this in here. It's hot. I don't want... Ah, oh, no, no. I messed up on that one. All right. I'll take the... Excessive glue It's easy to remove. So, I'm doing a quick job as it is. So, let's see how it looks. Look at that. Look how it looks in the front. It's a little professional. See that? Shit. Put some more glue on there. Let it cool off, and once it cools off, I know I, I did it over exceed on the glue, but I'm trying to make it a little clean as much as possible. See the side of it where the air is going to come in, and then the other side where the fans are going to be. One fan, only one fan sucking in air, and the other ones are blowing in. 
So we're going to have the other fans blowing in and out and um, checking it out. So it's coming along right here. We have this permanent set. I have crazy glue here ready to go. Make sure it's enough. Yeah, I have enough. So I could at least paste the bottom part of it and push pushing it out. And then on the bottom, it, I think I'm going to seal it permanently after, but I'm debating about that. Because if I ever have to replace something, I don't want to come back and melt the glue. Might melt this too, that's why I'm keeping it stable enough. But I want it enough where the motherboard is not going to flip. So I'm also getting some other things on top of that. So I was working on it earlier. Where uh, I was thinking about putting these um, these things I purchased this from from Home Depot and um, putting them over so it could hold down the motherboard in case it ever flips or it comes off. We at least could have a, a stable place to hand. So it, it looks good. It's coming along. So people are gonna take a trip on it when they see it. It's a PlayStation on a PC on the. PC under 300 bucks under 500 bucks I would say you know it's under 500 because I spent uh, almost 400 bucks on the items so but the work itself it's exceeding for 500 bucks to be honest with you so let's start with this part now so I remember I told you that the winds gonna blow in so one sucking in which we'll put it on this side two in two out so we could do vice versa like this in two different ways. Oh shit, I forgot that thing's hot over there. And we could do this one here. But remember, I need this part on this side, so we're gonna have to rotate them somehow. We could do this one here. Hold on, this is the middle one. Yeah, we could do this one here. We'll hot glue it in there. We'll do these two here. Uh actually. We'll flip this one. I do want extra air. I want it to be cooled in here. So this is a problem right here. There we go. So I could put them here permanent. No, actually, this is going to be suctioning in there. Freaking A. Let's twist it around. No, no. So we need the label out. Label outs. Label out. Shit. These two have to be flipped. Come on. So I do need to flip them. Shoot. So this one has to be on this side. This one here. How about we flip it on this side? Maybe we could do this part. No, I want the cable on that side. So I could cable management. We could just keep one and one. So that's fine. And we could suck this one out. So we'll flip it this one. We could do that. So we could push this one here. Let me try to make sure I have enough ventilation and this it's not loose enough I should have made them longer like that and this one like that that's how we want them look at that we can spread them out if we want a little bit just a little bit yeah I'm gonna go with this and this will be the one in the back here we could flip this one actually over the other way. Oh, even better. That's perfect. So that's how it's going to go. Something like that. Permanent glue one. But it's going to be hard to maintain them on this direction. So two in, one out. I don't know. I don't like that. Because the wind's going to go out. And I want in, more air in. So I'm, I'm debating on what to do on this one. Maybe this way. I should have extended longer. I, I sh I'm dumb not to stretch them out. I should have done it. But so the label is sucking. It's blowing air. So I need to blow more air. Or oh, I could do two on two. One on each. One on each here. And oh, this is going to work like that. That's how it's going to be. So before I mess up, I, I better start gluing one at least. So I'm going to glue this one. That one's there. That one's 
there. And then the other one, it's going to be here. I could do it here too, but no, this is going to be blowing out. We'll put it blowing out. This will be blowing in or out. This will be out too. And this will be in. Okay, that will work. So we're going to permanently put this one in here too in place. So let's go ahead and do that. And here it is in place. Put some glue there on the side of it. It's not going to interfere with the bottom of it. There we go. Then we're going to put this one in here. Big chunk of glue, put it in there. Just a little closer. There we go. Okay, if it grabs onto the corner. That's perfect. Let it cool off. We got the connection here. We're going to run it to the top. Make sure I glue the bottom too properly too. We're running out of glue. That's good. We have an extra one here. All right. Got that one. To melt all this stuff away after. I don't like how this one came out, but they're not moving. They're not moving, so we're good. Actually, let me get it closer to here. All right. Now we're going to go with the motherboard. And this is the hard part of the motherboard, which is um, another thing is I forgot the power supply where I'm going to pass it. But the thing is, I have a solution. It's going to go on the outside with a larger, uh, I think a larger weld. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to glue it in there. So I don't have to even move it. So let's go ahead and start with the motherboard now. On the motherboard, I got to do it quick. Crazy glue, crazy glue, crazy glue, crazy glue, and bam, ready to go. But this thing cannot be moving, so we got to make sure it's there. So let's flip it to a side and let's get ready with the crazy glue. Without compromising the, the motherboard. So put this down real quick. Put this on the outside. How you guys like this so far? You guys um, enjoy the stuff? Okay, get ready. Here we go. We're going to get all these cables out other way first I grab from here because this is sets permanent There's one two three four okay here it goes so find a way seven Simmons seven Simmons how you doing man how you doing brother how's everything so I'm going to hold it here for a couple of minutes until it settles down because it's crazy glue. So I don't want it to permanently move out of the, the system and it's going to burn it out too. So I just got to make sure I, I could hang a little couple of minutes before and we should almost be done with the whole setup. Permanent finish this thing, start putting all the screws in. And um, if you guys see all the stuff I put into it, it's been a couple of days already, but today I'm finally done with it. Um, seems like it's settling now, so, but to be sure, I'm going to push it a little bit more. Push it there. You know what? I'm going to hot glue it too in the bottom. I could do that too. Just so it could stable itself. There we go. Make 
make sure that the cables are not compromising the glue make sure that it's sticking properly in all the connections you know what just to check it out I always like to plug in something ahead like a USB or something just so it could keep uh, lining up with the stuff and there's one right there so we got one so that's a little tip for you guys when you guys are creating some mods like this make sure you plug in the the actual IO shield with something a USB all right because um it, it helps to stabilize the whole thing so right now I'm crazy gluing that part section oh shit it's hot still we're gonna crazy glue the other one and, and actually I'm gonna put some more on here too there we go and and this doesn't hurt the motherboard I mean in fact they use it for electronic work so this is pretty good the should be stable enough but I'm gonna hold on to it I'm, I'm still hesitant of letting go because if I let it go it's gonna pull back I am gonna do a stomper here too also you know what let's do that right now I had it here with me a couple minutes ago here it is we're gonna do this part but I need to trim it down a little bit more and this is gonna be like a stomper so I could push it more a little bit tiny bit more let me see if I could trim this out let's go ahead and trim it just a little bit how much more do I need to trim it see uh, you know what I'm gonna start cutting it first and then I'll trim it see so that's enough a little bit more I think but not that much I don't want to overdo it let's trim it down See that does it? Um, kind of. It kind of did too much. I think I need to trim it more. It's still moving. little bit more a little bit tiny more I did it okay oh, shit. Oh. all right let's see Uh, just a little bit, but I'm going to leave it there for now. It's holding it for now. I got to trim her more. Sorry, guys. Hopefully this does it come on come on there we go that's it so I'm gonna put glue here too and you know what I need spacing I need more spacing so if I ever want to replace it the only reason I did that is because I need spacing for the future if I ever want to like that there we go if I ever want to take out the motherboard so for that we're gonna crazy glue it too and hot glue it too two and one crazy glue put it in there 
Oh no, it fell, 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 fell. Oh shit, shit, come on, come on. There we go. And that's it right away. That's one way to do it. And then we're gonna cartridge it some more. Damn, too much of the extra excessive glue. was hard all right get rid of the glue excessive glue excessive glue get rid of all this stuff and uh, I think we're almost ready to go man we're almost ready to pop this thing in and um, we're gonna plug this sucker like I said on this one right here I don't want to connect it to uh, to the motherboard I could connect it to a motherboard but if it short circuits or something happened, I don't want it to fail. So I connected directly to the power and I bought this extender. It's a power extender to fan. You see that? And I could plug it in. So right now I'm going to plug that sucker in here. So it won't, it won't kill my motherboard if it ever fails. Right now we're just going to tuck it in. I'm going to tuck it in as much as possible. You know what? I think I have some zip ties I could do to use. Yeah, I got a couple of small ones. Let's use those. If I could find the damn things, when you need them, you can't find them. Uh, I don't want to short circuit with a plastic. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Find them. Got a couple of these. These are pretty good. So I'm going to zip tie this stuff in here. While it's still cooling off. I want to make sure that everything's tied down so it won't move too much. I want to hold on to this stuff away from the CPU. I think I'm going to zip tie and glue it here or something. But through here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to zip tie these shorter. Closer. Pass this through here. Underneath here. Keep it on this side. And then, so let's go ahead and zip tie these. And you could reuse this one. I like about this one because you could always reuse this one. I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to leave it as it is, but keep it up there. I'm going to put this in here, tuck it in. Make it a presentation, at least a nice presentation, you know. And then I talk about the power. This is the most critical part of it. I have to... Unfortunately, I have to figure out a way to pass this stuff in and I might zip it He I should have zip it there. You know what? I am gonna do that Let's do that Yeah It'll be easier two and one That's there Tie it down There we go this is going to be on the outside, so we're going to not permanently set it up right now because um, I have another um, another set I could set up in here. I could permanently glue it right now, but I'm just going to keep it there for now, temporary, until I figure it out. See how it is on the side? Get rid of this. Come back and repaint it later but right now we just want to get it up and running and i think that's it for now this zip tie i don't like how it stands out there this is the power so let me make sure that everything's stable and let's, let's flip it around let's do a test a flip around test all right so i'm holding the motherboard just in case it does fall but it's not falling motherboard testing good and right now we're not going to put the extended hard drive. We're just going to go with this first and then we're going to set it up. This power here, this power is important. So let's go ahead and put the power on the outside. Let's get the cover going. Where's the cover? Oh, shit. Just drop something. 
Let's get the power going and the cover. If I could find the damn cover. Oh, here's the cover. So on the power supply, we're going to pass it on the outside. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pass it on here. But I don't think I could. I think I'm going to have to glue it. Hot glue it in here. Or melt a bigger hole. I think it's going to have to melt a hole here. A square. Yeah, I'm going to have to melt a square. So I could at least push half of it in. It's too small in there. Let's see if we could do that. Maybe I could cut it and then do it again. Yeah, we could just do that. Hot glue it for now. So this is going to have to go on the back too. It's going to have to wrap around somehow. Twist it on this side. Along with the other ones. Let me undisconnect the hot glue. I don't really need the hot glue right now. So Let it cool off too. Actually, I am going to need the hot glue. Sorry. I'm going to need it because of the... Let me get rid of the trimmer. Because we're going to have to hot glue the button on the outside. Well, for now, we can leave it on the outside just sticking out for now. But then I don't want to... I'm going to have to come back anyway, so... What do you guys think, man? What do you think I should do on this one? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a hole. Yeah, I'm gonna cut a hole there on the last part of it, and then maybe put a a, a a plastic piece. Oh yeah, that's it. A plastic piece on the outside, pushing it. That's what I would do. Let me see how it fits. Yeah, I'm gonna glue it. I'm gonna glue it. But not hot glue it. I think I'm not gonna do the hot glue. I'm not sure about that. Let me see if I... I'm trusting out the button to see how much tolerance I need. So, I think I can hot glue it right there. Temporary. Alright, so we got it going. Let me get it cooled off here. Ah, shoot, shoot, it's moving. Shit, it's hot too. Okay, put some more glue. I'm gonna permanently put this somewhere in there, but right now we're just I just want it to run up and running. It's a lot of glue, I know that. I don't want it to move, that's why. Okay, I think we're done with the hot glue, so let's go ahead and disconnect it. Let this thing cool off. We have a power supply in here. Uh, I am going to put the hard drive here facing backwards. It's going to be backwards, of course, um, when I want to replace the secondary hard drive. And it's going to have a short um, SATA connection to it from the bottom where it actually sits. So right now, let's see how it's going to go. So we're going to do a mock-up run right now, see how it's working. Go. 
Oh, I got glue here. Oh, shoot, it's hot. Make sure that there's no glue on that door. Okay, we got one in. Oh yeah, we got the other end too. So we're gonna start putting some screws in here. Now this part's not coming in. I see, I see why. It needs to go on the outside. I think I have to start it from the back. So I have to start here in the back. Son of a bitch. It's a hooks that it has to go on. There we go. So here's a mock-up run right now. Let's go ahead and plug in some screws in there. Make sure it's all running at least nice and neat little. So Okay, that one's in there. Long screws. Where's the long screws at? No, oh, this is not even working. This is it right on this side. No, I need the shorter one for this one. A couple of them that are short and a couple of them are long. And I'm trying to discover which one's which first. Yeah, this is it. I should have keep notes of <laughs> what uh let me this this is not working. I gotta replace this head. This is a smaller one. So I was twisting wrong. You know what? Let's get our better tool on here. This one right here. Switch the heads. Get this one going and that one in there so I won't lose it. More durable one. Jax! 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 Come here, Jax! Get your butt over here. Stop barking out there. Damn dog. It scares the half of the neighborhood. Switch your butt where I can see you, fool. Damn ghetto ass dog. This one? No, this one doesn't belong here. There's two more, which I have to go on this side. No, I have to probably set this one up too. But there was one I, I, I cut, and it was that one that's no longer there. Oh, here he goes. Nope. Not gonna work. Ain't gonna work. I'm sure, I could get that one out for now. Not that one. Mm, I cut that one, but I didn't cut this one here. Somehow it's not. Oh, it's not connected. That's why I see it. It's not connected. That's why. There we go. Now it's permit. It's a longer one, so we gotta we gotta do a force on this one. Nope. Oh, I need. No, oh, I guess I. I took that one off or something, but it's okay. We're looking at what we can plug in, and there's another one here, but this is a short one, I believe. 
think it, oh no, it's that. No, it's not even picking up. Only two screws are picking up right now. Maybe it's not lined up or something. I'm gonna go back in there and find out. Jax? Yeah, it's not picking up none of these, so it might be a longer one, maybe. Do they have anything longer? No, they're all short. But look, it's not coming off, so it's good. At least we have one of them for now. We're just going to do a test mock before and run in. I have this cable still just holding on to the motherboard. And um, let's see how it works. And let's put the cover back on so it can look nice and beautiful. Beautiful. See how it goes with a nice cover. If I could find it, where the hell did I leave the cover? Jesus, I'm, I'm, lo I'm losing my mind here. Oh, here it goes. It's underneath all this stuff, all this junk. All right, so I still need the screw that goes on the side, guys. So PlayStation Three is it on this side. Oh, it's probably on the other side. It's on this side. There we go. That one's in there. One last cover. I'm going to buy an extender for USBs and plug them in here in the front. So I could have the USBs in the front too. All right, there's your PlayStation XGON 3. XGON 2A, hi. How do you, what do you guys think about it? Look at that. Beautiful setup I did. Power supply. I'm still going to monitor the power supply. I'm still going to plug it in somehow. Um, but we got the mesh going here where the fans are going to be sucking air. Let's go ahead and crank it up. Let's see how it works for now. So we're going to get the power supply, the mouse, all that stuff going right now. Here's the mouse. Keyboard. How you doing, brother? XGO2. Get the power going. We'll plug this sucker in. Uh, plug one in here. Put that in here. Here. A mouse, just in case we need it. And the power supply. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in too to the HDMI. Where's the HDMI now? I'm not sure I had another one here. I didn't even know that. Damn. Okay, here's the HDMI. Right here. Plug into HDMI. Um plug in the power. Well, first let me turn on the TV because it requires the TV to be on sometimes. So we got that going. Just built this this mon this computer right now. Get it going. And um, here's the power supply. So I'm ready to plug in. I'm gonna plug in this side first. Damn, I got a lot of stuff in here. That's why I gotta move all my stuff. Move a lot of stuff out of here. I don't wanna damage any of this stuff. So Make sure it plugs in. Plow power in. Okay, we're gonna crank it up. <sighs> keyboard came on. The keyboard came on. TV's back on. If you guys see the TV right here in back of me, uh, turn it on. Oh, air is coming in. Oh yeah, it's working fine. Let's see. I want to see. I'm gonna do F2. See how hot it gets right now. Go into a BIOS. See if I could. This is a great hot glue. I'm gonna keep it out here. I had it for years. I think I missed the the. It's coming on in the back right now. Yeah, it's coming on. It's doing the HDMI connection, which is plugged in, but it's picking up. There it is, guys. There it is. So. I feel air coming out here. This is the whole system. 
a PC running on PlayStation 3. Uh, 8 gigs video card. I mean, 8 gigs of memory. 2 gig video card. Um, extra parts. I got extra parts. <laughs> You're never supposed to have extra parts. But I got extra parts. And um, let's get a mouse going, man. I need a mouse pad. That's what I need. Oh, I'll use this one as a mouse pad. There we go. So the computer is starting. I do want to go into the into BIOS and check it out. It's not connecting to the internet. I just picked up my Cougar mouse. I hear it. I feel the air too. It's jamming. It's jamming. Let's open it up while it's running, all right? It is jamming. I like it. You hear that? Power is running good. Let's go ahead and open up the whole sucker while we're doing this, all right? We got a screw in that we have to remove right now. Only one of them, I believe. Let's go ahead and remove it. Now, if I can remember where it is. Oh, here it is. Another one. Where did I leave it? Oh, there it is. I'm gonna get another screwdriver. Oh, uh, this other one here, because um, this has magnet, and the other one doesn't. So, yep. I need to switch it. larger one no nope. time I lost it larger one Let's open it up slowly without disconnecting the power. The power is on still. They're the fans. Let's test out those fans. Let's check out those fans, see how strong they are. And the way we're going to do it, we're going to do it with a piece of paper, right? So, see how much air is coming in and out, right? How much air is floating in, all right? That's what you do. You guys get a piece of paper. This is sucking out. This is sucking in. These two are sucking in. Out. This one's sucking out air. See that? This is blowing out, blowing in. What do you guys think about it so far? It's pretty good, huh? So, air is going in. It, it's cool in here, man. It is cool. I like it. I like it. Sucking in. Taking all the hot air out. And then sucking all that cold air in. Really good. I mean, I'm very impressed with it. We're gonna test out a couple of games with it. We're gonna start making. Oh shit! We're gonna start making a retro game system on it. Um, I do want. I don't like this cable here too much closer. So I'm gonna try to see if I could hot glue them in there. Hot glue them on this side too. And um, this I can't do anything about it. But I still need to plug in the the actual um, hard drive that's gonna go on the top. So we'll have that label, but if you guys notice, it's it's jamming. It's running in the background. And we're going to see if I can go into BIOS. Let me see if I can go into it. First of all, let me see if, I, if this thing picks up. Okay. Let's go in BIOS. Let's see. 
Sometimes the mouse is too slow. Man. This mouse sucks. Shut down, restart. And we're going to do delete. I believe it's delete on this one. Delete or F2. I don't know which one it is, but we're going to hit those two buttons to see where, if it can take us into the BIOS. And to see how hot it is stable, if it's stable enough, if it's keeping it cool. Um, we're going to find out right now. So this is one thing I want to do. I'm rebooting it right now. Too bad I don't have enough power to put in lights. Oh, oh shoot, I must have missed it. Let me let me shut it down. It, it boots really quick, dude. It's like super fast to boot. It, it like it's lightning speed, so you gotta be fast. So let me let me the power I put I put crazy glue on here in the back. I like hot glued it, and here it goes. I think F F two or F twelve. I'm putting all the buttons I don't I forgot how to get in the BIOS but I think it's delete on this one or F2 not quite sure but I'm pushing all of them see if anyone picked up it's not picking up this 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 um keyboard properly look jumped into the damn windows already accidentally yeah I got into windows again Uh, I can't read how much temperature it has because it goes into this stupid. See how fast it is? It's quick. And this is an AMD chip. It is fast, dude. Let's see. CPU is really stable. It's really stable. I want to see the temperature. That's what I want to do. So I might have to install the application remotely. Back if I if I go to the website, so right now we're running at eight gigs, three point five megahertz on this one. It's not that bad. It's running really good. I mean, I'm very impressed with it. It's finished. It's done. It's ready for gaming, gaming night. So today, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start installing stuff. I'm gonna start installing the secondary drive. And um, I'm going to glue it in there. I think I'm going to permanent glue it and run it from there. But other than that, I want you guys to let me know what you guys think about it. It's running really stable under 500 bucks. I had this case from PlayStation 3. I, I converted it into a computer. Um, I made it look nice and neat. I put little filters on the side. I, I took these fans from another system from an Xbox fan. Oh, oh, oh. No, I wanted to activate something, so. But right now, it's running really stable. Let's make sure we have updates on this one. Really like it, how it's going, what's going. It's it's running. I'm very impressed with it. And um, 8 gigs, man. Maybe we should add more gigs. But I don't want to overdo it with the gigs. I think 8 gigs is enough right now. I was going to add another 8 to make it 16. But... I think it's it's jamming. It's cool enough. It's I feel the air here. It's like super cold in here. Oh my god, this is this is far more impressive than I I anticipated. To be honest with you, um, I am liking it. Hope hope you guys do too, man. We get some drink of water, man. It's freaking thirsty, man. Thirsty. Relax, homies. The Pellegrino. <laughs> All right, guys. What do you guys think about it so far? We got it. We got it jamming. I'm very impressed with it. I can't wait to start playing the games on this one. So the only thing I'm gonna start cleaning it up a little bit. Get rid of all this filtering. I think I'm gonna have to glue some more in here. So there is one to one here. It's not picking up properly because it, oh, I need to hit it down, I guess. But you know what? I'm loving this stuff. It is really blowing air. It, it's <sighs> love it, love it. Now I need to plug in the secondary.
Yeah, I'm gonna plug in the secondary. And I think we're gonna call it a day. So if you guys like what you see, please subscribe to late the show. I'm your host, Prophet74, and I'll come back later and play some games. And I'm out. <laughs>